द क्रीड फिफ्थ ट्रुथ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑन द थर्ड डे ही रोज अगेन फ्रॉम द डेथ दीज वर्ड्स मीन दैट ऑन द थर्ड डे आफ्टर हिज डेथ जीसस बाई हिज ओन ओमनी पोटेंस री यूनाइटेड हिज सोल टू हिज बॉडी एंड इशूड फोर्थ फ्रॉम द टूम अ लाइव एंड ग्लोरियस आवर लॉर्ड्स बॉडी रिमेन इन द टूम नॉट क्वाइट थ्री डेज नेमली पार्ट ऑफ फ्राइडे the whole of saturday and part of sunday we have here a fact that must not be overlooked just as jesus in order to prove his divinity did not put off his resurrection till the end of the world so he did not desire to rise at once from the dead but only on the third day in order to show that he was really and truly man and that he had been really and truly this short lapse of time being amply sufficient to establish the fact our lord's reappearances that christ rose again from the dead we know from the testimony of his apostles and disciples to whom he appeared several times after his resurrection on the day itself of his resurrection he appeared in the midst of his apostles who were met together in the cenacle and invested them with the power to remit sins john chapter 20 verses 19 to 23 a few days later he appeared to several of his apostles as they were engaged in fishing on the sea of galilee it was on this occasion that he raised saint peter to the dignity of supreme head of his church john chapter 1 verses 15 to 16 Before his ascension he once more appeared to his apostles and commanded them to preach the gospel to all nations Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 We are bound to accept the testimony of the apostles in regard to his resurrection for they laid down their lives in witness of the fact that they had seen him again in the body witnesses who gladly laid down their lives in confirmation of the testimony they have given can obviously not be imposters characteristics of a risen body the body of jesus after his resurrection possessed all the attributes special to such bodies namely impassibility brightness agility and subtlety by impassibility we mean that jesus body is no longer subject to suffering or death by brightness we mean that jesus body shines like the sun although until his ascension he veiled his splendor jesus proved his agility by transporting himself over vast distances even going up front earth to heaven with the rapidity of lightning by subtlety is meant the power of passing through the most compact bodies thus Jesus left the tomb without moving away the sealed stone which closed its entrance. He entered the room where the apostles were although the doors were closed. In reuniting his soul to his body, Jesus caused the marks of the many wounds he had received during his passion to disappear. All save 5, namely those in his hands, feet and side. these he preserved in order to show them to his disciples in proof of his resurrection to establish them to his father when interceding for us and to confound sinners on the judgment day so that they might with their own eyes see that it was not alone for the just but also for them that he suffered it was necessary that christ should rise again from the dead in order to prove the divine justice for it was in every respect befitting to justice that he who is obedient to the divine decree had been despised and loaded with every opprobrium and ignominy should be exalted saint paul says as much in his epistle to the philippians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9 he humbled himself becoming obedient unto death even to the death of the cross for which cause god also hath exalted him and hath given him a name 
which is above all names explanation of the blade here we have the resurrection represented several holy women seen on the left came says the gospel to embalm his body when all of a sudden the earth trembled and the angel of the lord coming down from heaven rolled back the stone which covered the entrance to the sepulcher and sat upon it the guards fell to the ground terror stricken and remained like dead when the holy women went inside the sepulcher they were frightened at the sight of the angel who however said to them fear not you for i know that you seek jesus who was crucified he is not here for he is risen as he said come and see the place where the lord was laid matthew chapter 28 verses 5 to 6 and mark chapter 16 verse 5